I wanted to talk about the burden of proof and atheism as to whether or not atheism is really just a disbelief or lack of belief in God or God. Okay, so here's the problem. That, that statement, I want to talk about whether or not atheism is just the lack of belief or disbelief. You're going to get different answers from different people. I'm only interested in talking about it with regard to how I use it. If somebody else wants to say that atheism is the, the assertion that there absolutely is no God, I disagree with them on their usage, and I care less about the label and the act than I do about the actual subject we're talking about. So I'm talking so, about, you know, th there, there is a claim that a God exists, and you either believe that or you don't. And what is the default position, and why, and where does the burden of proof rest? Well, the burden of proof lies on the one that makes the claim, but I'm not really trying to get into weak atheism or strong atheism. Is that what you're trying to get at? Well, I just wanted to make sure we're, we're clear that if you're going to start talking about a burden of proof, uh, the weak atheist position or the, the disbelief doesn't actually put forward a proposition, so there's no burden of proof there. Okay, so do you think that we should just accept what somebody tells us if they say that they just disbelieve rather than paying attention to the conduct of how they carry themselves in the discussion? Ah, so now what we're actually talking about is what people profess that they believe or don't believe in comparison to how they act, right? No, what I'm saying is that the disbelief in God or gods as atheism is not the only definition of atheism out there. I don't, I don't care. I don't know how that's relevant. Yeah, if we're not going to well, discuss weak and, and strong atheism, then why is this relevant? No, I'm just trying to say that if atheism, if, if it's claimed that atheism is the disbelief or lack of belief in God or gods, that's not necessarily true. Well, and every atheist, every atheist disbelieves and, ha and lacks belief in God. Some atheists also believe no gods exist. Yes, some atheists may zealously refuse to believe in God or gods, well, even though I, I don't so even now you're know talking what about something different. Use, not, use not, a definition of this Ron, people. Ron, <laughs> you, you've talked about like four different things now. First, it was whether or not you believe. Then you talked about things that had to do with the reason why you believe. Then and, and whether or not somebody is just obstinately not believing. Um, then there was also this issue of people say they don't believe, but do their actions betray that? Which one of those would you like to talk about and why? I would like to talk about the definition that you use on. A I'm not. I'm not interested in definitions. I don't. I, I'm. I'm. I'm not interested in arguing about whether or not people <laughs> agree about the definition of a word. I'm more interested in talking about the actual concepts. Yeah, the concept of theism is the belief in a personal, interactive, created God behind the influence of the universe. If you're no. an atheist, you're going to be without no. that. Our theism is to be without that. No, right? no. So, no. So, the, so, so you've added you something to theism. Belief, you've already belief, started by adding something to theism that I don't think is justified. There is a proposition, some God exists. If you accept that, you're a theist. Okay. It so doesn't necessarily have to be a personal God. God. Somebody like, could you deny the distinction between deism and theism. No, I'm, 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 ex Ron, Ron, I'm explaining the distinction between deism and theism. No, no, you just said gods. Theism is a specific belief in God claims personal interactive. No, deism is I don't, not interactive God. I, I, I understand that. Okay. Theism Why is the top level. Ron, can I finish one sentence? Theism is the top level. Deism is below that. Theism is the belief in some God. Deism is a belief of a, a non-interactive, non-personal God. That makes it a subcategory of belief in God. It, if not, what a category is above deism? Where, do you, where are you getting all these categories from? We're just talking about what each position means. If you're a theist, it means a specific thing, and deism means a different thing. Okay, here's where we are. We're talking, we're, Ron, we're arguing about the labels again, and I want to talk about the concepts. Can you get past this? Okay. What do you what do you call someone? What I just said. Run. What I what I just run said, run that, not just that run concepts. Run. What do you call someone who believes in a god? You call somebody who believes in a god. It depends on what those gods are. No, I mean, okay. It, I, I don't want to get theism, it. Right? You I could mean, call somebody who believes in a God a Christian, but you might be wrong. But if you don't know anything about the God other than the fact that they believe some God exists, what do you call them? What is the label for that? Well, if you're talking about the concept or the word or the description of the God, it, it depends. You could be talking about atheism. You could be talking about no. you know, a variety of different things. But we understand what the concept of theism is because I just explained it. It's a personal, interactive, creative God. And I don't, I don't agree with your definition of theism. So now what do we do? 
it doesn't matter what your def if you agree with it or not generally the description is the same thing theism is the belief in a personal interactive creative god i don't and i don't i'm just saying i don't agree with that so now what do we do okay so that and so what you're basically saying is that if i can change the meaning of a word on spot and ignore the general meaning of words and there words goes, don't have meanings change, right Words don't have intrinsic meanings. They have usages. And the usage of so different words... you can words... use a word. What? You can use a word. You can use a word that is not actually what it means. If yes, I... I, I no, 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 no. Ron, no. Ron. Is that... Ron. Okay? Ron. Words don't have meaning. They have no intrinsic meaning. They have usages. And different people yes, use... Words change. Can you stop I interrupting? Understand. And words can have different usages at different times for different people. The value comes in, this is what I mean when I use this word, and as long as you and I have an understanding of that, then we can have a conversation. It doesn't even matter if we use it in the same way in other contexts. But okay, we're sitting here spending all this time, we're sitting here spending all this time talking about the labels and not the concepts. And I don't want to have to say it again. Pick a concept and talk about it. I just told you what the concept is. Theism. What did I say? Theism is a label. You asked me about that. Theism is a label. What is the concept behind it, though? I My position, the way I use the word theism, is that theism is the top-level construct that is the label for those who have a belief in a god. Okay. Doesn't, doesn't matter whether it's a personal god. It doesn't matter whether it's an interactive god. It's just belief in a god. Okay. You're coming in here making something up on spot. Nobody no, I'm actually not. That description other than a personal interactive creative guy. What difference, Nobody even if I was making it up on the spot, what that. difference does that make? It makes a difference because you can't just use a, de a description of something and make something else up about it because somebody's going to be going in the direction on that topic that's inconvenient for you. No, 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 no. You're, right. you're failing you to understand. Ron, you're failing to understand. If you type theism into Google and get the definition that pops up, what does it say? I just did that. It's gonna, it's gonna say. Well, if you said it, what does it say then? Because belief. The, the belief in person. Wait, would you shut up and let me explain it? It says belief in the existence of a god or gods, yeah. especially belief in one god as a creator of the universe, intervening in it and sustaining a personal relationship. Intervening. That's what I just told. It doesn't you. say you that's a requirement. Did you see the word especially? That's not a requirement, a Rod. Ron. Ron. Did you not hear the word especially? Do you understand yeah, what that means? That it means that theism, there's also, there's a comma here. Theism, belief in the existence of a God, that's the minimal. And then there's a comma, and then especially, it is saying the, use, the, the word in general applies to belief in a God, but it is very commonly used to apply to belief in a specific type of God. Right, because it even says, just check this for a minute, see if this helps clarify. It says belief in the existence of a God or gods. And then it says, especially belief in one God. So you know that the definition has to encompass both belief in polythe like polytheistic, which theism for people that believe in many gods, polytheism, right? They're theists and they believe in many gods. So theism is about belief in a God or gods. And then there are, there are subcategories. That's what Matt is trying to explain. Yeah, you know, I know you're looking for the convenient description, but here's- <laughs> no, I'm looking at the I, definition. Dictionary.com, here's dictionary.com. I can, don't give a can, rat's can, ass. That's the point. Ron, you're on hold. I hope you can wow. hear me and that you're not still just talking to yourself because I'm gonna be very, very, very clear. Dictionaries are not authorities on what words mean. That is prescriptivist. Dictionaries describe how words are used. So we can sit here and have a dictionary battle until we get to the point where, where you will realize that I've already acknowledged you have a usage of theism that is common. It is not the only usage of theism. I'm talking about the bare bones minimal usage of theism, the one that would be the top level in a set theory diagram of deistic and theistic beliefs. And what I, what I really want to get through is I don't give a shining rat's hairy ass about the label. What is your point about Wait, the concept? Wait, before you put him back on, I'm at dictionary.com and here's the definition. Dictionary.com, <laughs> the belief in one God as the creator and ruler of the universe without rejection of revelation. Number two, belief in the existence of God or gods. So we're right back at what I got out yeah, of Google in the, the first Yeah, it's the same place. definition we gave you earlier. So there are two usages that are listed in both of those definitions. 
We're not saying the same definition. And you're getting off a topic with what I came to. <laughs> Goodbye, Ron. It's exactly the same definition. They both gave du dual definitions that included generic belief in a god or gods and also um, belief in a single creator god. I don't understand what the pro why this is difficult. I'm getting off topic. Ron, you're getting off the line. <laughs> Next caller. Because I'm done arguing about what words mean. Why is this so hard? I, let me just see if I can be clear. My general usage of theism is somebody who believes in a god. Ron thinks that the only seemingly correct usage of theism is somebody who believes in a personal god who's the creator of the universe, blah, 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 blah. That, by the way, is the god of classical theism. And these are, these are philosophical definitions that are used quite often. Either of them, uh, both of them actually, apply to someone who believes in a god. One is slightly more specific than the other. So at a minimum, I would say that the two definitions should better be categorized yeah. as a top level and then a subcategory. Theism, you believe in a god. Uh, this subcategory of classical theism, you believe in the god of classical theism. Yeah. Then there'd be a subcategory for theism. But yeah. none of that matters. Because the issue that he was going to call into was about atheism and the burden of proof. And the only way that discussion has any value is if you're going to either acknowledge that the non-theistic, weak atheist position has no burden of proof, it is a rejection of a claim that hasn't met its burden of proof, or if you want to try to claim that atheism is in fact making a claim and then should then have a burden of proof. And I will freely agree, if someone is asserting that there is no God, they have adopted a burden of proof. And they need to meet that burden of proof before you can be justified in accepting their claim. And the same is true for when somebody says there is a God. They've made a claim, they've now adopted a burden of proof, and before belief can be justified, they have to meet that burden of proof. That sentence makes all of this crystal clear. Because if you cannot believe until the claim, or you should not believe until the claim has met its burden of proof, then the default position is to not believe the claim. And so if the claim of theism the proposition is that some God exists, whether it's a personal God or whatever. Those are different characteristics within potential claims, but they all fit under the claim, some God exists. That's it. Whether you think it's personal or not, some God exists is a claim. The time to believe that claim is after it has met its burden of proof. And up until the time that it has, you are an atheist. You are a non-theist. You are a non-theist, an atheist. And it doesn't mean that you are putting forth a proposition. It means that you're not accepting one. I am not yet convinced that a God exists. That's it. And if you want to tell me that when I say, oh, I'm not, I'm not yet convinced that a God exists, that I'm not really an atheist, I'm instead some middle ground thing between belief and non-belief, I don't know. You are very confused about the nature of propositions and burden of proof. But moreover, I don't care. If you want to say you're not really an atheist, I am under the usage that I have, uh, that I'm talking about. Um, and by the way, you don't get to define who is an atheist just like I don't get to define who is a Christian.